All right, we're gonna be wheels down here in Rome, which we've learned is? Roma. Roma. And so we're gonna jump ah. off the plane here. It's like in the evening. We're gonna run down, get some really steaming hot Italian lasagna, like real lasagna. Mm. Go to it. So good. So good. And then we're gonna run down to the Trevi Fountain. Because you definitely want to visit it at nighttime. Well, there still was a lot of people here. It is not like during the day where it is like 15 people deep. Um, you're able to actually get down to the fountain, sit around the out outside, like around, you know, right next to the water, take your pictures. You kind of have to, everybody kind of takes their turn a little bit. But we were there at like 1.30. 1.32 a.m., like I said, still busy, but not crazy. So we finished up at the Travi Fountain, and what I want to tell you before we go on is in this video, we're going to include lots of great things which we would recommend to do with your two days in Roma. So let's get a good rest and start tomorrow. So you will see our hotel is right behind us. And the Spanish steps are right here, which is kind of cool. They were right at the top of the Spanish steps. So let's go check them out. As you will note, with my outfit, I have sneakers on. Very important here in Rome, there are cobblestones all over. You'll see people in dresses have sneakers on. It is the thing to wear here to make sure you have the ultimate comfort during the day. Trust me, you'll want to have sneakers or some type of heads or something that are made for walking, like some type of walking sandal type of thing. We've done Gucci lines before. Yeah. We are in an upper one. Next. Okay, so we just left Gucci, prepared to pay, and then she said, oh, do you have your passwords with you? And I'm like, uh, I do not. No, they're in the safe. And I know this, I should have known this, I wasn't thinking, don't be like me, make sure you carry your passwords with you, because in order to get your VAT tax back, you show your passport, you show you're not a Euro citizen or an EU citizen, and then you go to the airport and you get your bad tax back. So carry your passport. <laughs> cool. So what are we doing? We're taking a taxi to the top of the steps to our hotel. I am not walking those steps again. It is a brutal walk. I don't care what the Italians do. I'm still eating on my fingers. So here in classic Italian style, we have a taxi stop, right? It's where you're supposed to come get your taxi. We got taxi cabs and no human beings. They have no idea where they are, just missing. Follow me to the crypts. So we visited the crypts and it was definitely worthwhile. It is a small charge to get in. It is super cool, a little off the beaten path. It's not something that everybody visits, but it's definitely a must see. And like 30 minutes to an hour in and out, not a whole day process. Exactly. I have a collection of all of our seven wonders of the world. Wow. So I need it like 16 by nine. So we decided to hire a local photographer so somebody could take pictures of the two of us since it's normally us taking pictures of each other or setting the camera up. It was really fun. Her name's Samara. She was super sweet. And um, we had a, a fun time shooting all around the Coliseum. She had a lot of great locations, ones you probably don't even know or you wouldn't normally walk to. There were great areas, different angles of the Coliseum behind us, which was kind of fun. And it was kind of cool seeing the crowd around us. Yeah, and it was also a little fun because I was testing a new AI-powered gimbal, which seemed to like to follow the crowd more than us. Yeah. But uh, I'll be sharing that in a later video, a review of that gimbal.
Okay, so after the photo shoot, the sun was setting. It was beautiful out. It was romantic with my Nikki. We wandered around where all the excavating is going on around the Colosseum and in Rome. We wandered here past, this is actually called the birthday topper. Or the bir This is called the wedding cake topper. And um, we caught a cab. We headed over to Trastevere. I think that's how you say it. I'm not the greatest at saying the names. After I hear it a few times, then I've got it. But there was still lots of time in the evening. You, took, you, you can take a cab over there, wander through here. It's got fabulous restaurants. It's got a really kind of cool vibe to it. You know, there's lots of local people hanging out. They have great food. As you can see, we enjoyed it so much. And then you can get some gelato after. It was it was great. And then, you know, take a cab back. It was easy. It wasn't very expensive. And it was a nice ending to the evening. And this is another one of my tests of my new gimbal going down Roman streets. Look how smooth that looks. Looks great. Link in the description if you're interested in it. All right, let's call it a night and start again tomorrow. Another fun way to spend some time in Rome is to hire a golf cart. So they have these tours now that you can hire a driver with a golf cart. They're either two seaters or four seaters. They have some that fit six people, so you can have a whole family. You drive all over the city. This is proper old fashioned yeah. Roman road. I like it. <laughs> Took this place 200 years ago, 300 years ago. As you know, there is so much to see in Rome. And if you have been there and you have seen some amazing things that you want to share, please put them in those comments below so we can all see, we can share them with everybody. And please hit that like, subscribe. We always appreciate your support and we have lots of great content coming your way. Up in the hills, so you can look down at the city and the river. It is really great because you can also park in little small spots that you can't normally get into. You don't have to worry about the taxis. You don't have to worry about um, like buses. It's so nice. You see so much during this three hour tour. Okay, we saw all kinds of historical things. Obviously we saw you have to go see some cathedrals and that kind of stuff. And the our guide, was so knowledgeable and, and personable and passionate about uh, the whole thing. It was really great. The city loves. Loves it. And we finished up all the way up at the top of the hill, overlooking the city where once a day they actually fire these cannons like as a celebratory thing. So we got to see that, experience that. And it was really loud and it freaked me out a little. <laughs> it freaked her it out a little It was really bit. cool though. <laughs> if you can get up there at the exact time again, our guide knows when to go up and it starts getting packed. And um, you can kind of see some shots we did with the drone, which is cool to see it from that angle. Holy crap. We are going to send this off with a huge bang, Roman style, and head to our next destination. Stick with us. We've got lots of great places coming. Hey, I hope you really liked that video. If you did, right here below me is a button which you could click to subscribe so that you always get our notifications. If you want to just watch another video real quick, right here below, this is a video that YouTube thinks you'll really like. And then right up here is a selection of videos from this European trip we just went on. So you could kind of continue the adventure there. In any case, keep commenting and watching and we'll see you next time.